Okay guys, here we go for another explanation. We're gonna take a look now at number 14. Number 14 says, there are 0 0.890 kilograms of potassium nitrate in a sample. How many molecules are present? So several different things going on here, but let's just first start by writing down 0 0.890 kilograms. And then notice that it says potassium nitrate. So you're thinking, oh great, I've got to do some naming and you would be correct. So let's kind of break this down. If you look at your periodic table, potassium is represented with a K and it is in group one, which means it has a plus one charge. Nitrate is an ATE, meaning it's a polyatomic ion. And if you look at your sheet, you're gonna see that that is NO3 with a negative one charge. So to make your charges cancel out, that would simply be KNO3. Let's go ahead and write that out because that becomes important in a minute. Okay, and it is asking us how many molecules are present. So this is extremely similar to the last question, and we're trying to get over here to molecules. The deal is, if you look on the front end here, it's in kilograms. And you could do this one of two ways. You could stop right here and say, I know that one kilogram represents a thousand grams, okay? And then kilograms cancels out. But what I think would be easier for most of you is to go ahead and change this number on the front end to grams. So let's do that. If you're looking at your stair steps, kangaroos hopping down mountains, drinking chocolate milk, you've got kilo, hecta, deca, meters, liters, grams, there are those base units, deca, centa, milla. And so we're right here at kilograms and we're trying to get right here to grams. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got 0 0.890, for going from kilo, that'd be one, two, three places to the right since we're moving down the stairs. So move that decimal one, two, three to the right and we end up with 890 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that up here to 890 grams of potassium nitrate. And now we can move forward. As I said a moment ago, this one is very similar to that last one. So we know that we're trying to go from grams to molecules, but we don't have a conversion factor that lets us go from grams to molecules. So what we can do is go from grams to moles using the molar mass, which is what we talked about yesterday. And then we can go from moles to molecules using also what we talked about yesterday, Avogadro's number. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We know that grams is gonna drop down here to get rid of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, whoops, excuse me. Go ahead and put grams of KNO3 here. And we know that that molar mass is gonna represent one mole. So next step is to calculate what is the molar mass of potassium nitrate. So let's come right down here and do that. We know that potassium equals 39.098. We know that nitrogen equals 14.007. We know that oxygen equals 15.999 times three because there are three oxygens there. And if you'll give me just a moment, I'm going to put all of this into my calculator. And I'm getting 101.102 grams. So we'll go ahead and fill that in up here, 101.102. Now when you look at this, notice how grams of cancels out and I'm left at moles, which is exactly what we see down here. So this is the stage we're at is at moles. The next thing to do is we want to get rid of moles. So let's go ahead and drop moles down here and think about what we talked about yesterday. One mole of any substance equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And so now I'm going to give you just a moment here. Go ahead and put that in your calculator and let's see what you get. And I am getting 5.3011 times 10 to the 24th molecules. And let's take a look here at our sig figs. When we look back at the original, we have three sig figs. So we also want three sig figs here, 
which means our answer would be 5.30 times 10 to the 24th molecules of potassium nitrate or KNO3. Okay, let me know if you have any further questions on that one, guys.